All right, so in this one, we are just going to update our URLs. And this one, we're gonna update the way cur.co looks just slightly, so it's, it's just a little bit more branded to what it is. Um, now, the first thing I wanna do is actually change the coloring. So if I go to inspect element here and click on body, I notice that there's this background color of 333. So I can actually change that background color uh, by working inside of here. And I'm gonna just change it to like a little bit of a turquoise color. And just something like kind of fun. That's there, uh, well, maybe a little bit. There we go. That's a good color. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'll go into Sublime Text 2, into our base.html. And we're gonna come in here and just do style. Close off the style. And I'll do body, background color equals to that new color. The reason I knew is the body uh, was by selecting the different elements and kind of playing around with it and also playing around with the styles here on the side. So whether you have Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, you can absolutely play around with these different elements and see how you can change things. So like we could also change the color. So if we wanted to change the text color, we could do color red and that could change a, a few other things as well. Um, but I'm gonna leave it like this. This actually looks decent enough for cur.co. And also on this homepage, I'm gonna do the same heading as what we have otherwise, and I'll say P class equals to lead, and I'll say shorten that URL. P, and then the uh, we'll put the value for the button, click to shorten, or maybe just uh, shorten, excuse me, not, not shorten, should be shorten. Um, shorten, and then maybe something like that. Yeah, that doesn't look that great, but we'll fix that in a second. I go ahead and, and go in here and I see exists already. Notice the link is already kind of messed up. So I can go to inspect element here on that link and I'll see that it's BTN link is the main thing here. So um, going into already exists, I'm actually gonna get rid of BTN primary on both of these. And I'm gonna change how BTN link is rendered. So if I refresh in here, it's still rendering. It's a little blurry and it's also the wrong color. So let's fix the color first by selecting it and then going on the style side into link. We see this color here. I'm gonna select that main color and I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit or maybe a lot. So it's still related to the background but it's just, just a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that new color here and go into base.html and do dot btn link and color being that color. We need to do hashtag that color. Um, and then we refresh in here. Now that color's showing up, but it's still blurry when I go over it. And it's got a little bit of a, uh, like a, a um, like a, a pattern around it or a shadow around it, which is something I might not want. So if I click on it and look over here, I, I can scroll down and eventually I should see something about a shadow um, in here. And that's in the body. It says text shadow and it does all these text shadowing. So instead I wanna do text shadow being to none. And then when I hover over it with my link, I'll do btn link hover. And now I'll just do color equals to 0000, zero, zero, zero. refresh. And now it's a black color and that, that actual text shadow has gone away. Um, so now it looks a little bit better, right? Um, so the last thing that I wanted to do as far as how this is gonna be rendered is showing this exists already. We kind of lost something and that is the click event clause. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. You might still have it in there, you might not. We actually already did this, but I wanna make sure I bring it back in. The reason it was gone is because we were copying and pasting in the wrong way. So this is now having our click event there. So if I refresh in here, it's now showing me that count. Okay, cool. So we have our URLs redirected and we have our shortened URL. Uh, I might wanna have the little uh, Chevron look here and we can do that by jumping in back into the HTML for that one in the home and just add in and R-A-Q-U-O semicolon refresh. Now it actually brings that. If we wanted the left one, it'd be L-A and it goes the other way. So we're gonna keep it as RA and shorten. Okay, 
Um, so there's that. Now, the, another thing that I might want to check out or test or play around with is something like a background image. So if I did background dash image and I put a URL in here, notice what I'm doing over here, I can actually test this out. So I need a URL to do it and I'll just say beach as my URL. I'll go into images and I'll just select a very large image. Click on this one, hit view image. There's an image, I can bring it back, go back in here and put that image in. And now I've got my image actually showing up. So I can use this same thing by copying it, coming back in here, background, background image, and there it is. So we want to make sure that this is in a actual string, save that, refresh, and now that shortening URL service is working um, a little bit, like it's a little bit more like dynamic or cooler. Um, granted, we, we would still have to play around with the different styles in here to make this actually work. Um, and we can also change how the background works as well. So we could do background um, size and we can say cover, refresh, and let's actually, it might just without the string, let's go ahead and look and let's try just cover. And there we go. So it's actually background size cover without being in a string. So used to writing Python stuff. Okay, so we have cover and now it actually covers this URL shortener and we can now shorten our URLs. Um, and now the link kind of looks weird. So let's take out what we originally had or what we changed it to. Try that again. The link's a little bit better. We might want to make the actual color of it a little bit more robust. So let's, let's actually look at what it is right now. In fact, maybe just getting rid of the text shadow would make it more robust. Or if we just made the, it like a brighter blue, essentially, um, that will probably help us with that color. Um, or even something close to white. So we'll leave it like that. Uh, let's see how that looks if I break it down. Yeah, it still kind of doesn't look that great. So we might want to have a background color. I'm just going to leave it um, as its default and leave it as that. And I'll let you guys kind of play around with how it looks at the end of the day. Um, but that is our URL shortening service. There is something that I would do, though, realistically, is I would cut this, all of this, and or at least the images, I should say just the body side. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and do body dot, or um, sorry, sty block styles and in block styles. And then on home, I'll actually change those to have that image there. So block styles in block styles and then again the style tag close off the style tag and we'll see that body in there now and back into the base we're going to get rid of that image and we're going to bring the links back to how they were and this will actually change how our links are here so i'm gonna i'm just gonna leave them in there so you guys can kind of play around with them on your own um, if you'd like but we save that we refresh now cur.co has a certain URL. This looks good. I hit submit and now goes to something like this. So this also gives you the opportunity to change this URL based off of some context inside of your view. Like if you wanted to have, oops, not that view, but the home view, if you wanted to change that, just that image, so we'd say image or background BG image equaling to some link here, I could go back into that home Let's go ahead and cut this part out. And I'll just say um, BG underscore image. And then back into my view, I put this link in there. And then in my context, I add in this BG image being equal to that BG image. We save it. And then back into that home.html. I'm just, I'm just showing you things that you can do so you can start thinking about things a little differently. And then in here, I'll just say if BG image, then we will render that out, save it, refresh, hit continue. It's not there. 
go to the home page, it's, it's there. I hit shorten. Um, or if I had some error here, ah, it said success on this one. That's probably not a good validation uh, check. So we're probably gonna have to do that before we actually go live. Um, that is, oh, and actually it's possible that the validation's not working because of how we saved it recently. So let's, let's actually take a look at that. We got our validate URL here and our validators, we have validate URL and it looks like it's doing, if it's false and false, should be coming through incorrectly. So we're on fixing this stuff. So let's go back into our value and we'll type something out, hit shorten. And what we see here is the value is coming through. And what I wanna do is see if those are both invalid. So we'll print out this call right here. And that should be, that, that actually should be true. So it should print true. We'll hit submit again, and it's saying false. So the reason for that is probably has to do with one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and print uh, reg working, and then we're gonna print out on this one, reg not working, and here, save that. Let's try it again, refresh, look into our terminal, and we're not seeing either one of them working. So there's something going on with our actual exception messages. And ah, I know exactly what it is. So one of these is changing and the other one's not. So these validations are actually not good, right? So the way we're doing this validation is not good. So I would say pause the video for a second, take a little break. Um, we're gonna stay on this topic for just one more video and then we will um, finish off everything uh, and then get ready to launch it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.